Hey there guys, thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We had a question from a principal of a school and he said, hey, I've um, been watching your videos and I want to know uh, some of the people who fill out my forms, uh, some of the teachers who fill out the forms, like if they click on this checkbox for certain, let's say one of the, the sheets on this workbook, they want it to be able to have a text box pop up over here so they can add notes specifically to only to the ones that they checked on. So while I'm not going to do a billion of these, because this would take a lot of setup if you're going to do it in a worksheet format and you're not going to do it in a user form, um, the easiest thing that I would suggest to do is what we're going to do is, let's grab a small section here, I'm going to go to the developers tab and since it is a worksheet thing, and not so much a user form thing. I would uh, put a text box. Where's the dang text box? Here it is. I would put a text box under the excuse me under the ActiveX controls, and I just deselected it. Whoops. So let's just do the <clears throat> where's the accommodation section. Let's just do under special considerations for occupational therapy. Let's say if somebody selected that one. I would want this text box to appear and if it was deselected of course I'd want it to disappear. So let's give this text box a name. We're gonna click on it, we're gonna go to the name box, we're gonna say TB Oc Therapy. Enter. Okay, so that one's called TB Oc Therapy. See there? Okay, so what I want to do with this is, let's see, can I this is a oh that's a checkbox that is not an ActiveX checkbox must be a form control one because if it was an ActiveX I imagine uh, we could double click and add code which is what I would recommend <clears throat> the other ones you have to create a macro and then you have to right click and assign the macro to that button it's an extra step I prefer to write the code within the checkbox itself so I'm just going to show you um, that method and um, you know if you hate it that's fine but this is the the way I would resolve that issue right click excuse me right click properties we've got to take off the word checkbox one here because you want to use a clear one and in fact uh, one could just put the word occupational therapy within the text of the checkbox so they could do this the caption is actually occupational therapy Okay, so I'll close that. Yeah, but then you get into sizing issues. Anyway, just for fun, let's just pretend, pretend that this is just fine and dandy. Put this over here. I know you got them all lined up and they look very nice. But anyway, so we would do that. Then I have our TB Oc therapy right here. So I'm going to double click on my new checkbox here. In fact, I should probably name it. Go to properties, excuse me. The name shall be CB instead of text box. It's a checkbox, so CB Oc Therapy, and that just makes it easier if they're similar or the exact same one. So double click on the checkbox because that's where the code's going to go. And we're going to say me, me meaning the current worksheet that we are referencing, me dot TB Oc Therapy. See, naming it is more fun, isn't it? Me dot TB Oc Therapy dot visible equals, and I'm not going to say true or false, I'm going to say it is the status of whatever the checkbox is. So it equals me dot CB Oc Therapy, and I'm going to explain this. The visibility of this is either true or it's false, but guess what? me.octherapy is going to be either true or false. It's true if it's checked, it's false if it's not. So the visibility of this is directly linked to the checkedness, if you will, <laughs> the checkiosity of me.cbocktherapy. So that being said, take it off of design mode. If it's true, then it should be visible. If it's false, then it should be invisible. And there it goes. True, false, true, false. So when it's true, you can type in it. Blah, 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 blah. And when it's false, now did the text go away? Does the text go away whenever I click on this and I have to retype it? No. I didn't say the value equals blank and make it invisible. 
I just said make it invisible. So the value is still held within it. It's just that it won't show up on the printout. So if I do a uh, print preview and go to the last sheet here, the second to last sheet here, I've messed up my margins. But anyway, see on um, page two of four, occupational therapy is unchecked. And then if I check it, it the printout should have the lovely text box on page two that says blah blah blah, 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 blah right there. And of course, if you would like, let's go back into design mode. Now, if you would like, you can try to stagger these and make space for it, or even, you know, whatnot. Um, but if you want it to be larger, if you want it to be like this, but then you see you got three other ones, so you'd have to consider that. But if you want them to be larger like this, some things you want to keep in mind is you want to probably have uh, text wrap being on, so word wrap needs to be true. If it's false, just double click on it, make it true. You also want multi-line to be true. Multi-line, what's that? That's where um, not only do the words wrap on to, uh, to the next line instead of just going off the margins, but the multi-line, well, it's kind of the same thing. I'm drawing a blank here, but I know they're separate entity. They're separate things. Multi-line, multi-line. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. Anyway, make multi-line equal to true and word wrap, word wrap equal to true. So, oh, I think, and then you might want to mess with the enter key. Enter key behavior is false right now. Maybe that's more a user form thing. Anyway, you might change that to true if you want the enter key to, to take you to the next line when you're typing in there. So let's go, let's just check that out. If I hit enter, it doesn't do anything. So now let's go back into design mode. And we're going to go to enter, enter key behavior equals true. And now when I hit enter, it goes to the next line. You see what happened there? Hit enter, and now I have a new line, OK? So that's how that works. So anyway, have, have fun coding with that. Uh, I, I know you'll have fun with that. It's very fun to have things go invisible and then very quickly in, and very quickly revisible. So it's very fun to play with. Of course, you can do the same thing with physical therapy. And then but the, you'll have overlapping text boxes unless you're referring to the same text box if you make a large one. So anyway, now you got me to rambling. Anyway, so principal, um, Mr. Principal, I, I hope this helps you. And uh, for the rest of you, I really truly hope that this helps you as well. You may be able to utilize that uh, uh, this type of lesson in something else that you're doing. So uh, I bid you all adieu, and God bless you all very much, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.